Hello my chess friends, Star 99 here, hope you're well. So let me check a look, I want to show you some of my huge blunders in the recent time. So this happened in the German Bundesliga, so I played a quite a good game, then I entered like in the huge time trouble. So I got a lot of good moves here, but it didn't play well. So I was black in this game against the German international master Sebastian Dirk, we played on the, so like I said, in German's Bundesliga, the result of the match was in three and a half, three and a half. This was a crucial game, so this was a very tough loss from me. Let's take a look what happened. So in this game, happened to play rook c1, quite a logical move. So after rook c1, the plan is of course to go rook c7. So let's take you know let's take a look about this position. So my king is a bit open, vulnerable because the g file is open. Uh, bishop is currently out of play, but this d5 pawn is a nice target because, okay, there is no other white pawn protecting it. So here we have the rook on the open file that can be dangerous. We have the knight on b4 that's not looking so dangerous here because, okay, knight can come to t6, but that's the best that this knight can do. And this and queen on d2, I'm afraid of the queen because queen can easily come to some open file, you know, some open square to pack my king and that happened actually so let's take a look so after rook c1 i was in like a two or three minutes i played first move queen d7 okay kind of logical protecting rook d7 entering so now he played knight d6 and now my chess friends now it's a very important thing to know so here i started to panic like not a big panic but i was in alone time i you know i thought wow what this knight will do but nothing you know there is no threat here so logically here for me the best possibility was f4, so just go uh, uh, for activity. My plan of f4 is what? To go queen g4 here with some ideas, queen g3. You know, this pawn now it's a target. So suddenly this king will be in a bigger danger than my king on g7. So move f4 was, uh, you know, very like a very simple idea. So what I found here after I analyzed was that let's say queen f2 happened, queen g4. Uh, queen b6. I think that I was afraid of this during the game. But then after queen h4, king g1, and critical move f3. But after move f3, this king will be in the you know in in a huge trouble because there is no you know this kind of checks are nothing special because let's say even if the queen come you know if the queen come here, I have rook f7 thing, and let's say if the queen let's say take this pawn on d6 now I have a beautiful move f2. And after this, queen will come here. And after this, I have a queen. So he's not on time to attack my king again. So here, after move f4, I have a huge advantage. Probably I will win the game. Because I'm sure that this position in time trouble now, it's more dangerous for him than for me. What happened here, I started to play passive moves. So that's the thing that he didn't do in this time trouble things. And when you're better. So here I play the first move, rook c8. So I thought... Okay, let me pin this knight. This knight can go anywhere because, you know, I want to play any type of the end game because of this double, because of the double pawns. What happened here, he played queen c3. And again, I saw the best move, but I didn't make it. So I didn't play it. So of course, again, the best thing was just to play f4. Uh, okay, okay, I agree. This f4 is not so, you know, it's not so, it's not so strong like before. But again, I have the same thing. I have the same plan. Queen g4 and move the king here. But what they did here was so terrible. So very, very tough loss. Queen f7. So guys, my chess friends, take a look here. I will give you, you now stop this video. Take a look what will you play and what I missed. So the move, <laughs> this move, when I moved this, I thought, okay, d5 pawn is under attack. No, 95 move is not working because of rook c3, and I was happy. Then suddenly, I just blundered. Bam! In g3. Suddenly, I'm completely lost. So, for example, the main thing is that queen g6 here is not working because if you defend like this, we'll just take, take, beautiful check. Okay, <laughs> even this is winning, but seven, rook is going. So suddenly, after move queen g3, there is no good move here. Okay, let's see. King of fate, for example. I thought, like, okay, this will save the game. But again, bomb, 95. So, unbelievable. But nothing better to do. Let's say, 
Oh, and like if I take it, like I will just take my rook. Uh, I can try maybe defend like this, but then I saw this check d6, king f7, and just rook e1. And my position is completely lost because you know rook will come here. I need to move the queen, and after that, rook will come to the seventh rank. It's a game over. So what happened here? I you know I played queen f6, tried to do something, but then after 95, again the same trick. Can't take because my rook is going down, and I can't take the rook because my queen is under attack. So I played queen g8, and now knight d7. Nothing better than to go back with the king or whatever, and then he just took, took. Okay, here I resigned because after queen c8, well, you know, just queen d6, my position is collapsing completely. So I wanted to show like a huge blunder. Uh, uh, this was a really huge blunder. Very tough loss. My my team lost four and a half, three and a half. But okay, you know, next matches I played much better. So like I said, this area will be a couple of these TV, you know videos will be about the huge blunders like from white or black from my opponents. But okay, this was one <laughs> difficult, one difficult blunder of mine. So hope you enjoyed. Try not to do this <laughs> in your free time in your tournaments, and see you soon. Then bye.